Welcome back. Can you believe it? It's a Christmas miracle. Two videos in five days. And it has nothing to do with the fact that this video was sponsored by Simply Safe, who is having simply the craziest sale of the year. More on that later. So right now, let's get into those uh, questions from my Instagram, at Domizetti, which you must follow if you want to have the eternal clout of having your name butchered on an internet video uh, while I answer your questions about, you know, skipping leg day and fucking steroids and eating ass and shit like that. Okay, so uh, gonna gonna hop into those. At Billy at J asks, skinny dudes and stringers, smack them or let them be. Wearing a stringer is like putting a big ass wing on your car. Now if you got a fast car and you slap a big fat fucking wing on that thing, you are telling the world that you are fucking serious about your one personality trait. If people don't know that you're sick, how are you gonna know that you're sick? So wearing a stringer as a skinny dude is like slapping a wing on a clapped out Civic. It's a lie. You're playing dress up. You're a poser. It's like a little girl wearing a mom's heels. You gotta earn your pumps, because there are no shortcuts. So if you want to earn your stringer, do it the hard way, by taking steroids like the rest of us. At as her period JJ asks, uh, all long distance relationships worth it? To me, relationships are like going to the movies. You spend time and money to be stuck in a room, staring at the same shit for hours. You hide your phone while you swipe through Tinder, and you always have your eyes on the exit in case that crazy bitch decides to start a fire with the matches you got. So if regular relationships are like going to the movies, then long distance relationships are like staying home and watching Netflix. And the only reason you watch Netflix is so you don't feel so alone while you're on your phone. And to fuck on the weekends. Which is exactly what I want out of a relationship. Minimal effort, minimal return, maximum zero commitment. At Captain Ro Rose asks, how do I grow an ascetic bro beard like you? Obviously I get this question a lot. I mean look at this. Look at this fucking sculpted slab of flesh and Italian horse hair from the fucking neck of a stallion. Now if you're asking how to grow a beard, then you already know that you never will. Luckily, I was born with two things, okay? Perfect beard genetics and perfect everything else genetics. And a fucking club for a dong and an IQ of 100% and the ability to stretch anything out. Uh, this includes uh, lists, um, weeks between weekly videos, my entire internet career, and your girl's balloon knot. So what does this mean as far as growing a beard? It means for me, all I gotta do to grow a perfect beard is exist. Now if you're asking how I shape this work of art, this Vincent Van Gogh tee, then here are a few tips. First, and most importantly, the neckline. Now this is make or break, okay? Now you gotta find the right height and angle. Now a big mistake people make is going too high and doing it right around the chin thinking this is gonna define your fucking jawline. When in reality, what it does is basically draws a double chin on yourself with hair. It makes it look like you sell lotion at a mall kiosk. The second is the cheek line. Now what you want to do here is you want to follow the natural line of where your beard connects to your stash. Now if your beard doesn't connect, do not just keep going lower until it does. Just give up before you end up with a chin strap and a sexual harassment charge for trying to pick up high school girls at your hometown gas station. And lastly, Beard length. If your beard is patchy, growing it longer doesn't make it more alpha. It makes it look like pubes. So pick a length that you can keep sharp and clean. Like a knife. Like a fucking, like a pussy knife. Like a pork sword. Coochie katana. That box cutter. Uh, Sundress asks, is rock climbing a legit sport and how can you make it more approachable for bros? Rock climbing is a sport for skinny dudes who secretly want to die because they can't get big. If I did hundreds of pull-ups every day and had nothing to show for it except 150 pounds of sinew, freakishly strong fingers, and the ability to climb things that they invented stairs for, then I too would have a death wish. As far as making it more approachable for bros, um, I don't know add mud and say it's a race that has something to do with how Spartans compared whose dicks were bigger without having to fuck each other. Which is coincidentally how mud runs were invented. But the guys who do that do still fuck each other though. That's purely optional. That's purely recreational. Robin Iwunul asks, why do you only make videos when you have promos? Well, a murderous clown from a movie about a guy who dresses like bats once said, if you're good at something, Never do it for free. So 
to expand on that further, we will now have a word from our sponsor. Simply Safe. During the holidays, there was a rise in home intruders. And not just your extended family, but people who want to steal more than just your time and your soul. That is why Simply Safe is having their best sale of the year. Simply Safe is home security that is even more reliable and effective than posting a thirst trap on a Friday night. Now, if you're like me and have been securing your home with complicated booby traps, engineered from the home defense tutorial, Home Alone, then you will love how easy Simply Safe is to use. No more swinging paint buckets or steps full of tar. Simply Safe is delivered right to your door and you can set it up yourself in under an hour. And from there, your home is professionally monitored 24 7, like the Jersey Shore house. Except Simply Safe will alert the police if somebody throws grenades in your home. They've got sensors to cover every window, room, and door. Plus, they've got extras like water sensors, temperature sensors, and HD cameras, which I don't know about you is the only time in my life that I actually want to be censored. You can now get around the clock protection with no contracts and for just 50 cents a day, which is believe it or not, even less than I make on YouTube. Visit simplysafe.com slash bro science life to get the holiday promo. At a damn OB423 asks, why haven't you done steroids? It's actually a really great question, which I will answer really greatly. Now my body is so rich in testosterone that taking steroids would actually dilute my natural test levels. It would be like adding vodka to Everclear. Yeah, even though you're adding alcohol to alcohol, you're lowering the overall alcohol percentage. It's a paradox. And my body is a natural fucking paradox. Paradox with two jet skis at the end. At Jankleman69 asks, how do I set up an IG thirst trap? To execute the perfect IG thirst trap, you can follow the acronym TRAP as a helpful reminder. T, timing. Timing is crucial. If you want to trap somebody by their thirst, you have to catch them when they're thirsty. And ironically, everyone is most thirsty when they're drinking, which is why you want to use the hours from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Thursday through Saturday as the ideal window. You want to catch them late enough that they've had a few drinks and are feeling lusty, but also early enough that their plans and inhibitions are still open, and so they're not blacked out yet. You want to strike when the iron's hot, but not when it's completely fucking melted. Or, refine your target. Maybe you have 300 followers, or maybe you have 300,000 followers, but chances are you're aiming for a 1% conversion rate. So tailor your trap to not only the customers that are most likely to buy, but the ones you are most willing to sell to. This will build a strong, loyal, organic demographic that you can also fuck for the low investment of 15 seconds of your dignity. A, act natural. A trap doesn't work if your target knows it's a trap. Because of that, you want to manufacture a fake natural setting that appears to be the reason for this post. Even though in reality, you're dangling your body from a tree like a piece of meat for a bunch of horny cougars to paw at. And even though it's pretty fucking obvious it's a trap, Nobody wants to feel like they're trapped, even if they want to be trapped. I mean, when you invite a chick over for Netflix and chill, she knows damn well she's coming over to smash. But Netflix and chill sounds better than, hey, you want to come over and get raw dogged on a beanbag while my octopus teacher plays in the background? That would scare her off. This is where post-gym selfies and shirtless drinking pics come in handy. Set the scene, sell the dream. Sell the lie, fuck the pie. P, present the engagement. The goal of a thirst trap is to ultimately at least get your dick fully sucked to completion. But to get there, first you need to get responses. You want to invite opportunity for easy engagement. Making jokes on your thirst trap helps not only justify the fact that you're posting a slutty man photo to, let's be honest, your mostly male audience, but it gives girls something, an easy thing to reply to. Like my mom always said, if you leave the door open, you're going to let the strays in. She was talking about literal cats from the street that would come into my house whenever I'd leave the door open and she'd have, to, she'd have to get them out, you know, get them out of the house with a broom. But in this situation, I want the stray pussy in my house. I want, the, I want them to blow in with the wind. At South Poundham asks, how can I impress my girlfriend's dad this Thanksgiving? Impressing your girl's dad is all about asserting your dominance so you can prove to him that you are ready to take his place as the head of the family. He might not like it, but that's nature, baby. See, in nature, instinctually in nature, since the moment the children are born, 
all fathers look forward to the moment that they no longer have to fucking deal with them. And this is where you come in. Literally. Bust in. Get her ass pregnant. And fast. There is no faster way to assert your dominance than by cream pieing your way into someone else's family. And then by delicately putting that image in everyone's head by announcing that you're pregnant at the dinner table. And then get up, shake her dad's hand while staring at your own bicep, slam his most expensive bottle of scotch, and then take his seat at the head of the table. Best case scenario, you earn his respect. Worst case scenario, he kicks you out and now you don't have to deal with your own future kids. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. New videos every week is a lie I've told steadfastly for 10 years straight. Um, so celebrate that at DonMerch.com. Today's the last day for 30% off of the Black Friday sale. Because it's Monday and Black Friday should have ended on Friday. But you, you got two, three extra days? What? I'm so fucking generous and honest. What a guy. You can get things like... The Ebenezer Huge Christmas Sweater, Classic Swolly Night, St. Dick Shirt, Swole's Jersey, Pump Man 45 Pounds, Flask Set for the Casual Secret Binge Drinker, and much, much more. 30% off and tonight at midnight, DonMerch.com. <laughs>